Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, which is series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there uh, oils um, fragrances incense etc etc it's absolutely lovely and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles making candles at home or buying them scented and colored and we go into discussion about that as well that is with Tracy uh, Castledine Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Cancer. This is your reading for uh, the 5th to the 11th of October. And look at this. You've got the Queen of Staves, the Queen of Wands. And that means that there could be a Sagittarius or the Queen is literally Leo. There could be a, You could be meeting up with a Leo. Um, but don't exclude Sagittarius or um, Aries could be coming. You could be um, coming towards you. So you could be meeting up with a friend or a family member that's a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius. But mainly it is the Leo. As the king is Aries and Page is Sagittarius. So there could be somebody meeting up with you because this is you. Or you could be taking a page out of their book um, as the Queen of Wands stands for somebody that is determined and independent and she knows what she wants and you're going to go for it because you're moving towards a new beginning or a second chance. If you've lost your job, you might be going back to that job and uh, talk to them and ask them, can I have my job back please? or when can I start? Something is coming. Also the ones mean action. So you might have got a specific idea and you're take undertaking action to get the, to this new beginning, a new job. Um, the ones stand for action which means job, creativity, a new hobby, uh, perhaps making your hobby into a job, new passion, Whoa, this is fire. Passion, passion, passion. Be careful you don't get burned because you do have the phoenix and that means that you are rising from the ashes. So if you are not um, hooked up, then you could be getting hooked up and having wonderful passion. A new beginning. This could lead to a permanent relationship because you've got the Ace of Pentacles lying next to the Phoenix. So this passion could turn into love. A long lasting relationship as the Pentacles stand for um, practicality, uh, material, something tangible, something that you can touch. Um, also it stands for um, uh, money. It could work and also represent a new job, a home. You might have just bought a home and you are moving. So that is your new start. Okay, something that's tangible and for long term. You could also be meeting a Virgo, a Capricorn or um, a Taurus. Okay. Ooh, so that is Leo. Then we have the possibility of Sagittarius or Aries. And we have the Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. If this is a new job, then this could be a second chance at the same job. It doesn't have to be the same firm, but uh, for example, uh, the same sort of job that you've done if you've worked in the butchers you must probably be m be working at an other butchers or a grocery store if you've worked with grocery before now I'm going to shake the cards and see what comes out next I hope you're enjoying the um, romance readings and we have the Nine of Swords. You might have sleepless nights. Don't worry because you are lying on the Phoenix. So there is a new beginning. Okay. You might have been worried. Don't worry. There is a new beginning. Okay. Where there is a... Uh, is that the... It looks more like the Eight. Let me have a look. No, it's the Nine. I can see that by the side, the nine. Okay. And look at this. You have the two of cups. You are joining forces. 
if you're not hooked up like I said you can be hooking up with the um, Leo uh, or the, any of the fire sign but specifically Leo or any of the uh, earth signs Taurus Virgo or Capricorn you are your plans are coming to fruition you have met your soulmate Wow that is exciting there you go so I think you could be also signing up with contracts for a job house um, marriage so you could be getting married because it's for long term sorry about this I should stick them down with super glue <laughs> okay and your last card is the um, what you call it uh, the high priestess that's the Torah the book of wisdom and knowledge and she represents the moon goddess now I'm trying to line them up but they're slippery there you go so look at that listen to your intuition so the moon is shining on you perhaps you might have been more emotional on uh, October the 1st when it was full moon perhaps you did your wish but your wish is coming to fruition listen to your intuition though you might be highly sensitive at the moment and also uh, you might have had a, a feeling that this was going to happen and you were worried about it uh, perhaps you were worried about finances don't worry because a new job is going to come in your plans are coming to fruition your wish is coming to fruition now to um, get an overall energy card I'm using the everyday witch card and that is the world there you are one uh, face is closing something is coming full circle okay like the world the world is round so it's like a full circle this is also my uh, karma card karma will be returning to you whether you've done good or bad you'll get it back threefold okay you feel on top of the world the world is your oyster you might be buying that house you could be buying a second house if that is what you wish to do a house on this by the sea Whoa. you might be going on holiday you might be if you're not moving a house you might be taking a holiday or a short break something is coming full circle or you might be going up to the next level and with this um, Phoenix judgment that's the judgment card you're getting a second chance if not a new beginning definitely with the world and judgment um, and the ace of Pentacles there are new beginnings okay listen to your intuition and use your psyche your higher conscious okay put your ideas into practice they will come to fruition if you decide I want to be a nurse then you look apply for a job as a nurse perhaps do part-time work or flex work and they will recognize you and they will want to keep you they might even promote you there will be signing of contracts that is what I'm seeing also because of the two of cups you've met your soulmate this could be your soulmate as your boss your employer there you go awesome beautiful something is coming full circle there is definitely a new beginning lovely and if you're going out together then you might be getting engaged or making a permanent relationship out of something awesome right let's have a look what card we can get from the TLC TLC means um, tender loving care okay something needs tender loving care true love there you go you didn't you saw me I didn't sort it out it's really really dark wet and 
wintry here today I've had to get bring in an extra light Providence will deliver you again and again to kindred souls the two of cups in the past you may not have been acquainted with the ways of love and may have given up hope of sharing your life with a soulmate it should be someone who will stand with you carry you and be carried by you based on whatever your and their life conditions call for above all you need someone who fully accepts you for who you are with all your personalities and quirks and vice versa ultimately this kind of love may be written in the stars yet it, it most often comes into one's life through give and take and that is first encountered in friendship and in small gestures of consideration between strangers a proof of yourself express passion for life in all its disorderly ways open up to new love and swans these are the black swans with red beaks I love them swans stay together for life and we've got the pentacle durability and long term Wow beautiful reading uh, cancer I hope you enjoyed it take care be blessed stay safe and please like and share ciao ciao